In today's video, we're going to take a look at solving systems of equations by a new method called elimination. So again, just to recap, system of equations are also called simultaneous equations, and it's when we're solving for two or more variables at the same time, in our case x and y, and keep in mind that when we give our answer, we want to make sure we're giving it as an ordered pair. So we have an x value and a y, and we have learned two of the three methods, so we've already learned how to do it graphically and using the method of substitution, and today we're going to be looking at our last method, which is going to be elimination. So let's just jump into our first example. We're going to solve this using elimination. And what the goal is, what we want to do is we want to look at the variables. So we have x and we have x and we want to look at their coefficients, so the number in front. So this x has a coefficient of 1, whereas this x has a coefficient of 2. And this y has a coefficient of negative 1. And this y has a coefficient of positive 1. So what we want to do is identify what variable has a coefficient that is either the same number or the opposite. And by opposite, one is negative and one is positive. So here we can see that the y's have a positive one and a negative one as their coefficients. So we're going to look at the y's. So now what we want to do is we can label them equation one and equation two, like we did last time, equation one and equation two. And from here, we want to decide, should I add these two equations or should I subtract these two equations? so that when we do that, y is going to be 0. So if I have negative 1y plus and positive 1y, is that going to give me 0? Or if I did negative 1y subtract positive 1y, is that going to give me 0? And how I got that was I just took this one here, negative 1y, because there's a 1 in front of this one and that one. So I'm thinking to myself, is negative 1y subtract positive 1y going to give me 0? Or is negative 1y plus positive 1y going to give me 0? So that's where I got these from. So the one that's going to actually give me 0 is negative 1y plus 1y. That's going to give me 0. So I'm going to add my two equations. So what we want to do is we're going to add equation 1 and 2. So I'm going to do 1 plus equation 2. So I'm just going to do the work on the other side here. So I'm just going to rewrite these equations. x take away y is equal to 11. And I've got 2x plus y is equal to 19. And we said we're going to add our two equations. So there's a plus sign here. And we're going to add our two equations. So what we're going to do is just x, which is, has a 1 in front, right? And this 1x plus 2x is going to give us 3x. And then negative 1y plus positive y, that gives us 0. So that's going to cancel. So it's being eliminated, which goes away. And then finally, I'm doing 11 plus 19, which is going to give me 30 equal to 30. So to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by 3. And we see that this section here is going to cancel. And we get that x is equal to 10. So main thing to notice is we are doing this term plus this term, this term plus this term, this term plus this term. So just making sure that we're adding for each one of these terms. So we get x is equal to 10, and now we can substitute this into equation 1 or 2. I'm going to pick subbing this into equation 1 because there's no coefficient in front of this x, so it's just easier. So we're going to sub, I'll put this in red, so sub x is equal to 10 into equation 1. So from here, instead of 10, sorry, instead of x, we're going to put 10. And I've got take away y is equal to 11. So now I can subtract 10 to both sides. This is going to cancel. And I get negative y is equal to 1 divide both sides by negative 1, so I get just what y is equal to, and y is equal to negative 1. Okay, so now I have my two different numbers for my x and y, so I can write this as an ordered pair, so x is equal to 10, and y is equal to negative 1. And what we can do is we can put this into Desmos, double check our work, put those two lines in, and double check if they are correct, and we put that in, 
and we both we do get that it's 10 and negative 1. And just something really important when using this method, when we do this, notice that the x and this x, they're right on top of each other, and the variable of y, again, they're right on top of each other, and equals, and then we've got the numbers. We want to make sure that when we're using this method, we have the x's line up, the y's line up, the equal signs line up, and our numbers line up. So when we were looking at those questions from when we did the substitution method, and we had questions like if you were finding the simultaneous equation of, let's say it was x minus y is equal to 11, and this one said 2x is equal to 19 minus y. So in this case, we want to make sure that when we're doing this elimination method, we need to have our x's line up, and we need to have like the equal sign line up. So notice that there's two terms on this side and only one term on this side, so we'd have to do a little bit of rearranging in order to get it to look like this. So again, just making sure that the x's line up, the y's line up, and the constants or the numbers line up. So in this case, on this top part here, notice that I've got x and 2x and an equal sign, so I can't have that. So I need to make sure that everything on the top is kind of the same on the bottom. So taking a look at our second example, uh, we have the coefficient of x is 3 and this x is 7. And this coefficient of y is 4 and this one is 4. So again, we're looking for coefficients of variables that either have the same number or the opposite. So we can see here that the y, positive 4, and the other one, positive 4, they're the same. So when if, sorry, and if they're the same, we have to now decide should we add or subtract our two equations. So again, we've got equation 1 and equation 2. So we think to ourselves, 4 plus 4 is going to give me 0, or is 4 take away 4 going to give me 0? And that's going to be for subtraction. So we're going to subtract. So we're going to do equation 1, and we can do... Actually, I'm going to, instead of equation 1, I'm going to choose to do equation 2, take away equation 1. And the reason for that, so I'm going to do equation 2, take away 1. And I just decided to do this because if I did that, I'm going to do 7x, take away 3x. So it's going to be positive of the variable of x. So because I'm going to do 2, take away 1, I'm just going to rewrite my equation again. So I've got, now I'm going to put on the top the 7 x plus 4y, because that's equation 2, is equal to negative 14. And then I've got 3x plus 4y equal to negative 6. And what we're doing is we're going to subtract our two equations. So let's just take away. So when we do that, we're going to have 7x take away 3x, which is 4x. Then we're going to have 4y, take away 4y, which is going to give me 0, so that's going to cancel. So this is nice because it cancels. And then I get is equal to negative 14, subtract negative 6. So in other words, it's like saying 14, negative 14 plus 6, which is going to give me 8, and that's going to be negative. So now I have 4x is equal to negative 8, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 4, divide by 4, and then I get x is equal to negative 2. And then from here, I could substitute this into either equation 1 or into equation 2. I'm going to choose equation 1 only because I'm multiplying my negative 2 by 3 instead of by 7, so it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'll bring this to the side here. So I'm going to sub x is equal to negative 2 into equation 1. So I've got 3 instead of x. I'm going to have negative 2 plus 4y is equal to negative 6. So 3 times negative 2, negative 6, plus 4y equal to negative 6. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I get 4y is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 4. And I get y is equal to 0. So now I have my two answers, so I can write that as an ordered pair. So I've got negative 2 and 0 as an answer. And of course, we can use Desmos to double check our work to make sure that it is the right point. So we put those two lines in, and we get the same answer, negative 2 and 0. And remember, 
because on a test maybe you don't have your graphing calculator or your Desmos, we can also algebraically substitute this in. So we have three times negative two plus four times zero is equal to negative 16. We're just substituting x and y into our equation. We get negative six plus zero is equal to negative six and negative six is equal to negative six. Both sides are equal, so that satisfies the first equation. And then for the second equation, we have seven times negative two plus four times zero is equal to negative 14. And then we get negative 14 plus zero is equal to negative 14. And we see that negative 14 is equal to negative 14. And again, both sides are equal. And so these x's and y's satisfy, satisfy both of these equations one and two. So here are your two and only try it questions for this video. We want to either add or subtract the two equations and we do want to check our solution. So take the time to actually check your solution, put the two equations into Desmos and double check if it's right or not. And if it's not, just try it one more time and see if you can actually get these ones correct using this new method.